Metronet, that's what we're using today. Okay then, let's go over the set lens of this one. I don't exactly remember who suggested me the set, but I believe the person who originally made it was Poke. It's just been sitting in my PC box for quite a while. Haven't had really a chance to use it until now, so hey, here we are, okay? So for the personality, we're running Nimble, making it as quick as possible. I guess you could run Smart if you want to hit harder. I'd rather want to be on the Metronet low. For the item, Health Amulets, on every Metronet, normal ability, secret ability, I would always r rather run health amulets than any other item because Metronet has just got no form of health recovery. And if I'm spamming a lot of peace of minds and potentially hypnotizers on this specific set, I get a lot of like options that I get for more free health back base, which is really, really nice. But if you want to, I guess you could run like any other item like Dark Essence, Fire Essence, whatever you want basically. But health amulets will always be my number one item on Metronet. Like I said though, I am actually running the secret ability of Metronet. I've actually never run this one before, but because Zooling is still like super popular right now, I best well just want to try and cheese it and potentially use my Meditoad as bait for an Ancient Raw, which if I swap in my Metronet against an Ancient Raw, I get a free plus three range attack, which is very nice. And I get to start absolutely destroying things. For the moves, we're running Dark, Dark Surge, uh, just basically do like as much damage as possible. Our main stab move. We have Parakinesis as a coverage move. Peace of mind for a setup move. And the same thing that Cephalops likes running right now, okay, is Hypnotize. Because Cephalops and Metronet are both dark types. So, what Lumi is immune to Hypnotize? Mind types. But let's be honest. What mind type wants to swap into a dark type Lumion that has dark type moves that hit really hard? Especially on something that can set up. Not really many. It's actually only Duskit and other Metronets, which... Yeah, not very many to go off of, okay, so that's actually really, really good. And then for the TPs, basically just a standard one, okay. 200 speed, 200 range attack, hitting as hard as possible, being as quick as possible. 20 energy is mostly just for 4 piece of mines or hypnotizers or a mixture of both of them, and just 4 dark surges. If you're running Deja Vu, I believe you want like 36 TPs in energy, I don't exactly remember. And basically just dump the rest into health. I mean, Metronet has like... Recently, I guess not really recently, but kind of recently to when I actually last used Metronet, it did get a buff along with Wobblisk, and it is uh, pretty tanky now, honestly, so uh, nice. We'd love to see it, and with that being said, let's hop into the battle zone. Okay, Lynn, hopping into the first battle, unfortunately don't see a Zulong, which is what I wanted, because I have the secret ability uh, Metronet, so I can actually abuse the Ancient Raw and get more stat increases, so unfortunate, but I see a gas choke, and honestly... I haven't battled a Gastroke in a very long time, I kinda wanna battle one. I mean, hey, props just for using a Gastroke, but it's right next to a Teclipse. But still, if you're using a Gastroke, you kinda need the Teclipse, I don't blame you. Okay, this is the team I'm gonna go with, okay? I'm gonna uh, bring the Garbantis mostly just for the Vesperato, that's the entire point. Actually, it's the Vesperato lead. Well, I was actually about to lead with Garbantis, which is why I actually talked about Garbantis, not Meditoad. Uh, but yeah, I put, put, put it out for Meditoad, cause if it isn't a Vesperato lead, I can always just swap into my um, Garbantis. I, I might lose, I'm probably gonna lose my um, item, but I mean, hey, that's fine. I mean, if a little feel something like the Garolosh, it would have been like kind of meh because I don't really have a great swap in for a Garolosh, unfortunately. Anyway, that's a clear battering gram, okay, to the face. They actually stayed in. I don't know about that one, but okay. I will gladly KO the Vesperatu. I'm mostly worried about, I think probably the Protogon or the Garage Drone. Actually, wait, do I have a Protogon? Or is that another battle? I've done a few battles, but they weren't really like anything amazing to really like showcase the Metronet, unfortunately. Um, I don't actually remember. Galosh, I probably outspeed this thing, so I could honestly just whack it and see like how great I can do. Plus, Vesperatu is already gone. Garbantis has kind of like done its job, so I'm just gonna hit it to be honest. Garolash. I'm probably gonna like over half, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a melee defense drop as well. We love to see that, okay? Chili Chomp, I don't even die. Dang. Okay, then, um, I will see you as well, Garolash. I'm about to basically um, get a Garbantis sweep. Okay, he clicked dodge. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you do realize I still have like more energy. Also, it has Kabunga Coffee. Nice. Okay. Just gonna click Battering Gram again. I don't think I have any energy left, so I'm basically good. Just gonna have to like poison whatever else comes out next. Um, but we'll see. Honestly, I'm surprised he doesn't have Quick Pounce if he has Dodge. Like, who runs Dodge on Garolash unless like you have no idea what you're doing? Unless it's like a, d a doubles one, because some people in like 2v2s just stop dodging everything. Makes sense if it's like a 2v2, so I guess it's not like too bad, but. Maybe just hasn't swapped it out. I don't really know, okay. I'm wondering why he has dodge on the Garolosh. Out of everyone to have it on, 
I don't know why Garrosh, to be honest. I mean, it isn't very defensive. It's got, like, decent defenses, but it is clearly a whacker, okay? It's whacking things. Well, I can't even place up. I can't even do anything. I can't even poison it. I'll just go for the white one, I guess. I guess I'm limited to weights. Okay, I'm gonna get hit with an air blood, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, we can go into... Actually, I could have saved my Garabantus, and I could have health gift into it a little, but oh well. Meditio's gonna come out. Not exactly like wanna go into... I don't wanna swap into a... My, uh, Metronet into a Gobademic, because I can get poisoned since I'm not using the normal version of it now, so... Yeah, this is my secret ability one. I mean, you can use it on a normal Metronet, but... I wanna try my secret ability one, because... I found it the entire time, and I never really, like, used it that much. And with, like, Zulong still being super popular, if I, like, seize some Zulongs, it should be, like, easy bait. Like, easy bait. I have, like, a few um, things on my team that are completely weak to it, okay? I don't really want to deal with it anywhere. Um, Malmo, this is probably a melee attacker, to be honest, like, Aqua Jaw, so... Actually, it's Mega Chomp. It's probably... Oh, actually, wouldn't you rather... Oh, I actually got some flinch, that sucks. Um, wouldn't you rather click... Aqua Jaws against the Meditoads? I guess he doesn't have it learned, so... We're gonna go into our Metronet now, I guess, and, um... Set up on it, I guess. Actually, Gobademic is the way better move, let's be honest. I wanna use Metronet. <laughs> if I don't use Metronet, what's the point of making a video about it, right? Exactly, it doesn't really make sense. So we're gonna click the Hypnotize, just to be really annoying. <laughs> because Metronet is really nasty with it, okay? Okay, Malmerk and to clips. Okay, glad I didn't click um Dark Surge. That would have been very bad for me because they would have outsped me. Is a secret ability one. So they have a secret ability to clips, but they have Dodge and Garolosh. I'm just as confused as you are, okay? I'm just as confused. Anyway, I'm gonna just have peace of minding. Um Lay should be asleep at least for one more turn, I believe. So um I can go for another peace of mind, and then we will basically just like pyrokinesis and then just dark surge, and that should be the game. Unless I don't want the Eclipse, which is a good chance. The Eclipse has some pretty decent bulk. Honestly, I could just keep going. I can just keep going, honestly. I can just keep peace of minding as much as I want, but I don't want to get greedy because knowing me, I'm gonna get critical hit, okay? And we don't we don't want that. Okay, it's, it is a two shot, which is fine. Even if I went for another peace of mind, I don't think it would just still one shot it. I would have ne needed to go for another two, which I mean at that point. I might as well just Pyrokinesis it twice, because I'm pretty sure I can one-shot the, um... The Mawamurk, potentially. M maybe. I, I want to say I do, but I'm not actually too sure. And also, I basically already healed up all the health that I took, so... Nice. We like seeing that, okay? So yeah, I have health a lot on my Metronet. Also, probably gonna mention the intro. You can basically, like, remove every item you want. On Metronet, since I'm like, basically using it as Hypnotize Peace of Mind spam, it's a lot of time to get, like, free, just, like, absolute free health amulet heals, okay? And, yeah, see you later, Malmerk. So, that's the first battle. That was, like, five minutes, to be honest. So, uh, nice. Let's hop into another one. Okay, then, we've got our second battle. Again, an interesting team, but weak to dark, weak to dark, weak to dark, weak to dark. Neutral. And the other of them are basically neutral. So, uh, Metroid looking pretty darn good here, man. Also, Pyrokinesis. Also, kind of, like, all of these are almost weak to Pyrokinesis as well. Two of them are. <laughs> so, looks pretty good, honestly. Measure it. Looking pretty good. Unfortunately, no Zulong still, but I think we should be fine. As long as I don't get hit by the taze, that would suck. Okay, this time, I'm actually just going to lead off with the Metronet, because if we get a really good lead, because four team members of their team are really good for me to, like, potentially set up against, I'm going to take it. So, what's up, Teteb? I'm going to go for a Hypnotize and be very annoying. That's basically what this Metronet set is. Basically, just be annoying and get as many free setups as you can, okay? Kind of like Cephalops, but without the setup part. Well, Metronet has a setup. I was Cephalops. We'll never get set up. I've seen people, like, ask for um, Peace of Mind, Cephalops, and... Or, or Magnify. Never going to happen. I don't care. Cephalops is never getting a setup move. Do you know how broken that would be? Very broken. It's already the best Lumi in the game. If I gave it stuff like that, it is absolutely broken. I'm not doing it. Actually, go for the withdraw. I could be so annoying and go for more. Eliguana, I don't want to be tased by you. I really don't. If you actually, if you actually tased me, I am going to be very upset with your care. Very upset. Don't do it. I should put it to sleep. But 
I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't have it. If he does, I actually swear. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Thank you. That shouldn't actually do that much. It's neutral. Unless he gets a critical hit. Never mind. And critical hit and a daze. You love to see it, okay? You love to Okay, El Guana, you're going to sleep, okay? You, I, I should have put you to sleep. You deserve this, okay? This isn't my fault. You deserve this. Don't hate yourself. Thank you. Go to sleep. I missed. Love to see it. That's that's on me, honestly. <laughs> that's on me. If it isn't 100% accuracy, okay, it's 50. In my case, kind of like 25%, maybe. Hit yourself. Yeah. Goes for a Gamma Pulse this turn. Yeah, because it, it did more damage the first turn. But oh boy, is it tanking now? Now go to sleep so I can get more health back, okay? Because I would like to have more health. Trying to go up against that um, Avitross, if he has it. And potentially the Gaudron, because it could be a secret ability Gaudron. And also, I like it how he has the Golden Eliguana. Not exactly the best for PvP, but I mean, hey, looks really cool. I mean, I actually don't think I've actually used one of these in PvP. I mean, I have a lot of them, especially the uh, bronze ones. But yeah, I don't, I don't really like use them for PvP because I, I don't even use Eliguana. Never mind a event one. Anyway, I'm just gonna spam Peace of Minds as many as as much as I can, um, just so I can basically one shot everything without really worrying about it. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm actually glad they don't have like a bug type like Swalder. I have battled a Swalder, and I'm not gonna lie. And same for Bezel Do. Completely annihilates Metronet. Can't really hit them at all, unfortunately. Even if I have like a plus three from Ancient Raw, I like barely like two shots it, to be honest, which is really upsetting. But yeah, I've actually had a battle against a Swalder, and also I paired my Metronet up with a Bezel Do because also it only has two weaknesses, I believe: um, Quad weak to Bug and weak to Fire, which Bezel Do Quad resists Fire and is a Bug type and resists Bugs. So uh, yeah, Bezel is like a really good teammate to pair up with Metronet because it just resists. It's like it's like Cephalops as well. Like Cephalops can't hit Bezel Do, and Cephalops and Metronet are very similar right now. So I mean, it makes sense why Bezel would also be a really good teammate for Metronet, and also like kind of help counter it, I guess, as long as you don't get put to sleep, basically. Anyway, we got like what four peace of minds. I've lost track. Let's start hitting some Dark Surges, okay? Because I miss way too many hypnotizers. I think I'm gonna start sweeping before. He actually potentially clicks Taze because I don't want to get paralyzed. Because if I don't outspeed like Avatross and it critical hits me, I died. Even with like Metronet's buffed like defenses basically, with Metronet like super good. Anyway, what's up, Duskit? Gonna hit you with a Dark Surge really quickly. Um, this is neutral, so it should one shot, right? I mean, it's a Duskit. It one shots, right? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, okay? See you later, Duskit. But yeah, Be Bezel Do. Have, I don't really like use Bezel Do that much. Like I've used it like a couple of times, but I mean, what from like Pro Pair? I mean, come on. I got or, or Dasho as well. Like there's so many like bug types to use, and also all the water types to use. It's like kind of hard to fit Bezel Do on team sometimes, but Pendant of Metronet works really really nicely. Avatross, I'll speed it. We love to see that. Okay, and one shot. Nice. Okay. Tatab and I'm going to assume Garadrone is their last one. Or actually, it could be Colossal Trops because they are lacking some melee attackers on this team. That's actually Whipple Drift, okay. Um, actually, no, we got, got Ava the Tross. It's just that I didn't really get to see much of it because it died straight away, but you know. Anyway, Dark Souls, the, the Whipple Drift. See you later, Whipple Drift. I am so sorry. Not really. You can't deserve it, to be honest. Okay. See you later. And now for the Tatab, which uh, we will also one shot with a Dark Surge, which is nice. We love to see it. Okay, what's up, Tatab? Still asleep, I see. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, you didn't really get much of an attack. So, yeah, Metronet. That was really, really good to showcase it. Just lead off with it and sweep. I mean, this is just how good Metronet is, really. Like, it's, it's really, really good. It's the same thing as Cephalops, where it's like, oh, that they are both dark type Plumians that have hypnotize. What Lumians are immune to hypnotize? Mind types. But let's be honest, what mind type wants to swap into a dark type Lumian that can hit them for super effective damage and they hit really hard? Really hard. Just like after a couple of peace of minds as well on Metronet and also Cephalops just nukes straight away anyway. So I mean, yeah, Metronet and Cephalops, the hypnotize like 
sets on them are disgustingly good. They are really, really good. Watch out for them, because like I said, the only like Lumions that can swap in, like my type Lumions that are immune to Hypnotize that can swap into Metronets, uh, is basically all of Metronets or Duskit. But as we talk about that Duskit, we kind of dealt with it. And also, Duskit doesn't really do too much to Metronet. So, uh, like, in a 1v1, Metronet kind of beats Duskit. And let's be honest, no one really uses Duskit that much. So, it's mostly just all of Metronets. Uh, which, again, they, I mean, they have Pyrokinesis. So, uh, yeah. And if they were to get like, a couple of pieces of mine set up, probably not going to win that 1v1 anymore. But, yeah, that's Metronet, though. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.